What's happening YouTube and welcome back to the Scott Attempts Gaming Channel for a brand new FIFA 23 player career mod video. Better today, transfer deadline day. Obviously, we're going to be staying at Bolton. Uh, this day really means nothing. Interesting transfer though. Victor Oshiman has joined Man United for £120 million. That's going to be the world record transfer fee broken. We find ourselves 7th in the Premier League, which is, to be honest with you, a really, really good start to the season. So yeah, we're going to press on now, get through transfer deadline day. Pogba's gone to Arsenal, that is crazy. Yeah, we've got a transfer offer from Wolves. Which would actually be the next game for us. Yeah, I'm not interested though. Reject. I just can't wait for these offers to stop coming in. As we saw in the last video, £100 million offers coming in for me. That is crazy. Just notice we've got five skill points that we can spend. I think about putting some more into passing, you know. Or shooting. Heading's not the best. Yeah, I think I'm going to max out this shooting tree. I'm going to put one on, uh, one on volleys. Three on long shots. Another one on volleys. So that's took us to 87 long, long shots and 80 volleys, which is class. The offers are just raining in at the minute. Sevilla are the next team to try and sign us. Bolton Cup's back, lads. The Brew Cup. So before we crack on with the rest of the season, I'm going to have a quick look to see if we did end up signing any more players because we only signed two new players, so or three new players this summer, and I want the squad to be looking a little bit stronger. We didn't sign. It looks like we... Oh, we did. There's another new signing. It's Eugenie. He's a 70-rated midfielder. 30-year-old. I have to admit, our business this summer has been pretty poor, if I'm honest. We also signed Neven Jurasek, who you saw in the last game, 26-year-old CDM. Obviously, know about Dismet and Zisco Correa. So, we made four signings in, in summary. Nothing really. We're only one player above 70 rated, so. We set off today's video with Wolverhampton Wanderers at home. They are two places below us. They've had a exact same start to the season that we have they've won two lost one bit of a uh, history to bolton and wolves obviously something to do with john mcginley that i'm not too sure about but yeah let's try and get back on track after the forest defeat Man. so one thing that is really really refreshing to see is that we don't have any 64 65 rated players in our team anymore which is a big big boost we've still only got four players over 70 rated in the starting 11. so wolves are going to get us on the way yet in the first episode the first game of today's episode sorry on the wallach eye See you later, lad. The ball and ah, the that's not a good ball, is it? Wolves' team is actually pretty good. They've got uh, James Ward pros. That's a good ball, I recall. Possession. That may could be in. Oh, that's a good chance. Was he onside? On. Nah, he was offside. Good start, though. Famia getting in behind nice and early. Wolves have been the better Fodence. side easily. Oh, dear. Fodence could be in. Fodence is in. Ah, oh, that was a big chance for Wolves. It's going to go out for a goal kick. Ah, right, it's going to add on. He's done some head off a pace. Ah. Put it to near post for some reason. Wolves are dominating this game. There's not really been a highlight to really show just as yet. Oh, dear. Good save. Oh, that's a good chance. Oh, no, Triore. Oh, no. It could be 1 0 Wolves. Ah, oh, it's 1 0 to Wolves. It's been coming that, to be fair. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. It's a really well worked goal from Wolves, to be fair. And it's, it's deserved, if I'm honest. So I haven't able to get into this game at all. It's a good ball from Traore. Defence is all over the place. Yeah, it's a great finish. We've got it all for the second half now. Right, this has got to be a better second half. We've got to get... I feel like I've not had the ball at all, really. Oh. I'm here, move. Go for a finesse shot. Oh, what a goal. Oh, my God. These finesse shots, man, completely against the runner play as well. How good are these finesse shots for us, honestly? They're just 87 long shots, five-star weak foot, honestly. You can shoot from anywhere. Just turn on the defender, a little bit of space, and it's just curled it back top corner. Let's have a look from this angle. Look at the curl on that. Dipping. Oh, what a finish that is. Sarah had no chance. One all. Win it, Eugene. Let's go for another. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, lads. That's two screamers in, like, 30 seconds. We've completely turned the game around in, like, five minutes. Let's have a look at this. Wins the header, drops it off to me. 27 metres out. Oh, mate. Ah. Keeper maybe should be saving that, to be honest. Keeper's not even at net, though. He's just glitched. Dismal for staff, 1-0 down. And now it's 2-1. Two, two 30 yarders. And we're in front. Oh, we're the ball back high. I've got these at ropes here. Bye, have a great time. Oh, I mean, it could be up. He's off, he's off. He's off. It's a decent little run, that, as well. This has been a frantic start to the second half. Oh, no, Samedo. This will look good. Good ball. Oh, he's missed it. Locked. 
Oh, what a ball. What a save. How is it not 3 1? Oh, dear. Oh, God. Good save. Great save again from Rodri. He's been really, really good this season. What's Santos doing? No. No, 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 no. Oh, it's 2 2 off a mistake. Are you joking? Keeper just threw it straight to a Wolves player. Daniel Pordance equalises. Oh, it's that lag again. Can't show you, lads. Don't know why it does that sometimes. Replays just go really, really laggy. Like the actual gameplay sound, but. Oh, no. 10 minutes left. Oh, I don't like this. No. What a tackle. Oh. Thank God that didn't go in. Good ball. Oh my God, please score. What a... No. That block. That win as well. That is some block, to be fair. That's like a goal-saving challenge. Ah, uh, it finishes 2-2. A really entertaining second half, to be fair. Two screamers from us. And the Wolves just capitalised on a mistake in the last 10 minutes. To be fair, it's a decent point against a decent side in Wolves. We'll take it and move on to the Brentford away. So we finished the game with a 9.1 match rating and two goals. Assists from the new man, Eugenie. And Clint Lehmans also. So that point keeps us in the top half. We're still 7th in the league. Level on points Liverpool and Wolves. Uh, with Brentford coming up next. Who we actually did get promoted alongside. They're in 14th. They haven't had the best start to their life back in the Premier League. One win and three losses. So it's Brentford away at the G-Tech Community Stadium. This is a game we should should be looking to win. I think we did actually win at Brentford last season as well. So no noticeable changes to starting 11. But Eugenie is in for his full Hello, debut. Another stadium that looks absolutely amazing in this FIFA, to be fair. We've already got a win here in the past. Brentford gets us on the way here at the G-Tech Community Stadium. Team looks a lot stronger for today's game as well. We've got Jura second, Eugenie in. Oh, my God. Oh, is it straight keeper? That was a great chance. Honestly, like, this is the type of game we should be winning because we got promoted alongside Brentford. We won it last season. Blame it. Let's get past on. Come on. Move, Fami. Boot. What a goal. Counter-attack was so deadly on the counter-attack. Joel Fami. I think that's the... That's one of his first... I think... Has Famier scored yet this season? I'm not actually too sure. That's just how dangerous we can be on the counter-attack. We've got pace for days. Famier actually makes a decent run, pulls away from his man. And he just rolls it into the bottom corner. 16th minute, we've got in front. It feels like ages since we scored the first goal in a game. That's one thing we have been missing in the last couple of games. Like Famier's form that seems to have dropped a little bit. Do you know what? This is the third season now of this career mode, and we've not actually had a penalty yet. Oh, that's a good ball. Hick is in. Oh, what a block. Oh, it's possible. Good save, Rodrigo. And he's missed the rebound. Lucky that Brentford haven't full one back there, to be honest. Oh, um, I thought that was just curling it back at net, that. That were unlucky. It looked like it just had just enough curl on it for getting it back at net, but... Oh, I meant... Score, 2-0. Two assists for us. I think that might... Is that Marley? Uh, I can't actually see my players. Uh, what's going on? Nice bit of skill on the wing. Smashed across. It's a good finish from Marley. It's a rare goal for him. He never really gets on the score sheet. All about the assists though, boys. It's a really nice finish as well, to be fair. And it's 2-0 to Bolton. It looks like a short run without a win is coming to an end. You know, when you're looking at the calendar, this is a fixture that he should be winning, to be honest. Oh, but on Buemo's in. Don't let him shoot. Well cut out. And options in the centre. Don't let him shoot, lad. Oh, no. Good save. Oh, he's going to get the rebound. How have Brentford not scored? How have they not scored? I'll give it away. Nah, I shouldn't have done that. Our keeper is so good. Rodrigo's amazing. Somehow, we haven't conceded, and it's 2-0 at half-time. Rodrigo's been in inspired form in this first half. He's been good in that Furan there in midfield with the longer. He has been really, really good for Brentford. Probably their best player. I think he's the one who scored against us last season, you know. I think the one where my players rolled the ball to, the Brentford player. 60 minutes on the clock, lads, and I'm pretty confident this game's going to be won. Or not. Spot well too soon. Oh, the keeper's made a big mistake. Oh, it's 2-1. I've spoke well too soon. Damsgaard scores like his first touch. Oh, I, I, I don't know why I opened my mouth, lads. Oh, it's a mistake from goalkeeper. Let's have another look at this. It's literally straight at him. I don't even know what's happened. 
and that spark well too soon. Brentford are back in it. Oh, sadly, uh, oh, it's... that's good football. Oh, what a goal! What a finish! Oh, it's offside. That was a lovely move as well. That is, that is so close. That's literally an inch offside. Literally. That's a good ball. Thankfully, the keeper catches it. And Webo's running the show at the minute. Oh, it's a good ball. Jimenez, just wide. See, Brentford get promoted and they sign Raul Jimenez. We get promoted and we sign 69 rated set midfielders. Well cut out. Play me in. We're in, lads. Let's get the third. What a finish. That wraps the game up. It's a mistake from the Foreman Bolton man, Rob Holden, and we secure the three points. Goal probably completely against the runner player, lads, but capitalised on the mistake perfectly. 18 metres out, wrapped right into the corner. That ain't being saved. That's never being saved. And that should be three points wrapped up for us. Well, the whistle ref, that's got to be full time. And we win 3-1 away at Brentford. Honestly, I'd say Brentford them are probably the better side, if I'm honest. But we were just so much more clinical. And that's how we come away with the points. We finished that game with a 9.3 match rate and a goal and two assists. Joel Famier gets a goal and an assist. And Aaron Morley getting on the score sheet as well. So we've got MK Dons away in the Caribou Cup. This is being simulated, as you know. We won't play play in this competition until we get to the later stages. And it's a 1-0 away win against MK Dons. Kieran, sadly, with a goal, we got a 7.6 match rating. Sadly, he got a 9.5 match rating. So, lads, I just want to show you something really quick. Our next game, Liverpool at home. The first real, real big six side we're playing at home. Followed by Manchester United away. Arsenal at home. Chelsea away. Chelsea away. This is the most difficult one of fixtures I've ever seen. Then we come back with Burnley and Norwich, Everton, West Ham. Liverpool, United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Chelsea. That is unbelievably difficult. But we start today with Liverpool at home. We're actually above Liverpool in the, in the league. They're yet to lose, but they have been drawing games. We've won three, drawn one, lost one. Still expecting it to be a really, really difficult game. Just look at that Liverpool team. Rodrigo, Nunes, Verratti, Neves. Kaita, Alaba, Milito, Alexander Arnold. Just compare it to ours. Oh my god, this is going to be so, so difficult. So, probably the most difficult fixture so far in the career mode Liverpool at home. To be honest, given the fact we've had such a good start to our life in the Premier League, I, am, I do feel like we can get a result here against these. I really do. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So, Famier will get us on the way against Liverpool. I think we've got to use the ball really, really wisely. Famier. Oh my god, Famier. Oh, what a start. It's a great save. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, main men have got ball. Oh, no. Nunes. Oh, my god. Let's look at Liverpool moving the ball. Oh, my. No. What a goal. What can you do? Luis Diaz gives Liverpool the lead, and honestly, that's the best goal we've conceded so far on this career mode, lads. By far, I have to hold hands up. Look at the football here. Oh, it's such a good finish as well by Diaz. So, 1-0 down after 8 minutes to Liverpool. Wow, we can't get near him, lads. That's a great ball. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Get out to him. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. Oh, my God. Two goals. Liverpool in the first 10 minutes, we're 2-0 down, lads. This could be embarrassing. Again, it's just really good football. It's a great ball across the box. One touch from Nunes. Because underneath Rodrigo, he's usually so solid for us, but... Oh, what do we do, lads? Oh, my God. That's a keeper, please. My God. Honestly, I, I, I really thought that we're going to be 3-0 inside, not even 20 minutes. Jesus, 5.8 match rate, I don't... That is so low. Oh my, look at how they're moving this ball. Nunez. Nunez, Tiago. Oh we finally saved it. Rodrigo's finally made a save. Kaita, it's just wide. This is like a training game for Liverpool, this. This is the... I think against Tottenham, we played really, really well. But here, against Liverpool, they're just... They're teaching us a lesson here. Come on, let's get off past Simicass. They need to get tighter. Oh, what a tackle. So what an interception. So. Come on, lads. Let's not let him go 3-0 up before. Oh, good tackle. 
we got lucky though, giving the ball away where we did. Absolutely pasted in that first half, lads. 2-0 to Liverpool. Mountain to climb second half here. Win the ball, lads. Oh, oh good ball. Rodrigo's in. It's a good interception. Right, let's run at Trent now. Let's run at him. Have a shot. That's embarrassing. That is so far wide. You know, if, if we can get one goal back here, we're not actually out of this game just yet. Give it. Oh, got a special driving too. Oh, I'm at the bar. No. That's our best chance of the game by a mile. I like it. We're going to nestle into the top corner. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be free. It's going to be free, isn't it? Uh, it's free now to Liverpool, and that's... I feel like that's two mistakes from Rodrigo, our goalkeeper, to be honest. I know we did it hard and low, but it's literally gone right through him. Let's have another look at this. It's it. It's through. Oh, it's poor. He just falls on his back. It goes through his legs as well. Oh, that's... Oh, Rodrigo's made a couple of mistakes in this episode so far. Oh, Brent has pocketed me, hasn't he? Trent has absolutely pocketed me. And it's going to be 4 out to the pool. What a save! No way! If you can keep it free, I'll be happy. And I've spoken too soon again, aren't I? Save again, Rodrigo. Well played. That's two really, really... Oh, I'm subbed out. So we get subbed off for Bakayoko and 6.1 match rate and we were absolutely terrible, but Trent just pocketed us, lads. What? Um. So we went off. 3-0 down, and in the 89th minute, Marley, Sheehan, and Luis Diaz have all managed to score. I don't really understand how we've managed to get three goals in one minute. I think that last game then really has just shown the difference between, like, your Brentfords of the division who we beat and, like, your Leicesters and stuff like that compared to, like, your Liverpools. We did not stand a chance then at all. When we come back, though, we have got the big game, Manchester United away at Old Trafford. That is one not to be missed. We sign off today, six games played, three wins, one draw, two losses, positive goal difference. One of the highest scoring teams in the division, which is excellent. Just also one of the highest conceding teams in the division as well. Finish on 10 points. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure you leave the like and subscribe to the channel as it really, really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one.